Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn about guest accounts. So guest accounts are a great way to allow a friend or perhaps one of your kids to use your Mac without having to worry about them messing with your documents or your settings. So the first thing you need to do is turn on guest accounts by going to System Preferences, going to your accounts, unlocking so you can make changes, and selecting the guest account and turning it on. So you want to turn off automatic login to give the user a chance to log in as a guest. And once you've done that, you're all set. Now you can go further than that and also enable parental controls for guest accounts. So this is great if you've got kids and you want to give them access to your Mac through a guest account, but you want to give them some constraints. So for instance, uh, you can uh, you know, restrict uh, web access, you can do the same thing for email, you can set time limits for guest accounts, and then you can also track things via logs. So one of the things you can do here also is turn on the simple finder and this uh, basically creates a very easy way to launch and run applications that might be better for people that uh, haven't used Macs before or perhaps kids that aren't familiar with the full interface yet. You can also simply turn on and off selected applications as much as you want. So for instance you can turn off iChat if you like. Another thing you could do is to go to login options and enable fast user switching. This allows you then to use this menu up here and switch to a guest account while remaining logged into your current account. And they can't get back to your current account without entering a password. But this does allow you to quickly switch over. Now when you're in the guest account, everything is new and fresh. There's no bookmarks in Safari. Mail doesn't have any accounts set for it. There are no documents at all. And you can create all sorts of documents do all sorts of things, but when you log out of the account, it all gets deleted. One way you can save files, say if you have one of your children playing in a guest account and they create some sort of masterpiece in a painting program, they can actually save that to the shared folder which is in the users folder and when they log out of the guest account, things that are in the shared folder will remain there. Likewise, you can transfer something into a guest account by putting it in the shared folder and you'll be able to access it from the guest account. A huge advantage of guest accounts is you don't have to log out of your regular account to go into one. So you can have a bunch of applications open, working on some documents, doing a whole bunch of things and you can simply switch over to a guest account. All of your stuff is still running. You can use that guest account, do a bunch of different things and then leave the guest account, deletes everything, go back to your main account. You can also, using fast user switching, keep the guest account logged in. So you can have an extended session that goes over a period of time while you switch between accounts. So if you have friends or your kids using your Mac with your user account, you should really consider turning on guest user accounts and letting them use your Mac that way. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.